doing a Palladium unboxing today, and not just a one boot, but of three boots, because I, I really like Palladium. They're really affordable. They're like a sneaker, but in boot form. They have this really cool history of being the boot of the French Foreign Legion during World War II and after World War II. And uh, I have a personal pair that I wear all the time. And these are their travel lights. They're nice, really soft, squishy foam outsole. It's never gonna last long at all, but for a light little travel boot, you can just fold up, bend up, super, it's super convenient. I end up throwing these on all the time just because with the elastic laces, it makes it super simple. But so I've slowly become more and more a fan of Palladium as I've worn these more. And I, I just like them. They're military inspired. They have this the, the, a unique look to them and they're really simple. And I've been wanting another pair of Palladiums. I've been, I've, well, you know, it's really been going on. I've been trying to get Palladium to sponsor a video where we cut apart an actual pair of the French Foreign Legion boots that they made in the 40s and 50s and compare it to the more modern beat and their more modern offering. Because how cool would it be if we had access to all their archives, their history, and instead of just guessing in history, we'd actually be able to work with the company for a historical boot to tell the actual, the true story. That's why I really love them. But I have yet to convince them. So maybe this one will, will help do it. The thing that I want to do with this video is is mostly for my own personal knowledge because I wanted a pair of Palladiums and I didn't know which one to buy. I had no idea. They have like they have like a hundred different pairs of boots. And it seems like there's three main boots that are based off the original boot. And so I just wanted to buy them all and see which ones, which, which outsoles are, which compounds and why they call them different names and what each one might be good for it. Because it's very confusing and their descriptions don't do the best job of describing what each boot is, how it's built, what are the components, all that stuff. And so what are the three boots that I got? Well, I got one pair of the, the Pamp Punk. I'm about to script all these French names, the Pampa High. I got it for $50 because it was on sale. They retail for $85. And the second pair I got was the Papa High Originals. I'm sure it's said differently than that. I got them for $60. They also retail for $85. And then I got the a pair of the Palabrus Legion. Legion? I don't know. They I got them for $75. They retail for $95. So $85 to $95. They're all like within the same price range. They all look exactly the same, and I don't know what the difference is. So that's what we're going to find out. But if you want a pair of these, try to use the links in the description. You don't have to. You know, if you want to buy one on your own links, it is what it is. But so, starting with my little Gerber knife, put a link to this in the description as well. <laughs> these are like 20 bucks. We're just going to go off of whichever ones come out of the box versions. So, first pair. Nice green fox. The thing I like about this is Palladium does a really good job of giving you the sizing info, how to measure. Doesn't help once you have the box in hand, but if you're ordering another pair or somebody else is ordering a pair, at least you have it. How accurate is it? Uh, seems pretty true to what we size for most things. You know, like a, it seems like it sizes more like sneakers because I, in this pair, I got 10 and a half in my, I travel compo lights, whatever. They're 10 and a half as well. So let's see what's up. enough rambling. All right, what do we have here? Oh, these are the, this is the, this is why I'm doing this video because they're so hard to tell for. I don't know which one's which. I, you have to look at the tiny details. Okay, so this is the Pala Bruce Legion. So this is the more expensive pair that recalls for $95. And this does have a rubber outsole. I was I was uh, wondering if they're all gonna be the foam outsole. Um, canvas upper. I think the, the biggest difference is this little canvas strip for a sheer canvas lined with a simple insole very basic lasting board just like your, a sneaker lasting board so that's pair number one the 95 dollar pala bruce legions and the, the way the palladium positions the legions are the pillar of the palladium legend the pala bruce legion is or is the original canvas boot that we produced in 1947 now the legend is being relaunched for a new generation of explorers as a boot that marched the world with the French Foreign Legion, the stout yet comfortable piece has been reborn with modern materials while respecting its timeless heritage. Using the original Paula Bruce bulbs and shoe lasts as the guiding light of this project, the elements of the design have been made to be more comfortable and sophisticated to suit today's demands 
It's 100% organic cotton canvas upper is built upon our iconic lug outsole. Reduce foot fatigue and bears tasteful decorative details that salute its place in history. So this, allegedly, this is the, the closest one to the original boots is what I got from that. And okay. put those off the side. Also, let me know what you guys think of the format. If, if you like it, how if, how you would like to change it, what parts you like, what parts you don't like, because these are just all fun for me. I just get it's like Christmas every time we do one of these unboxing videos. It's so fun. Okay, let's start with a different color box this time. What's it gonna mean? I don't know. Say, so we say, who knows? These are the Pompa highs. So, ooh, I forgot I got this teller out of the fan teller. Unboxing, harder than it looks. Once again, canvas upper, canvas lined, uh, the rubber outsole, a little bit cheaper of an insole and strobel stitched, different elastic material. I honestly still am not sure what the differences are between these. And the way they position the Pampa highs, the greatest summer adventurers never have a plan. From the streets to the summits, you need a boot that do it all. Nice. This classic rendition of the men's Pampa is lightweight and comfortable thanks to its washed canvas upper, which only gets better over time. Plus our trademark look also fused with the comfort of a EVA footbed. Okay, so the EVA footbed, maybe that's a big difference. Yeah, it does feel like there's a little bit more foam. Then to our third contender, we've got the Pump Eye Originals. See how these ones do. See if I can get unboxing down. They probably can't even see the box because it's gray. Ooh, got white. I don't remember ordering white. Once again, canvas upper, canvas linings. This lot to tiller material. It's nice and square. Insole is another different insole, surprisingly. Or is it the same? Nope, it is different. Yeah, a different insole in each one. Rubber outsole, and the footbed feels more like the Pampa Highs. I thought this would be a lot more clear once I got these all unboxed, but it is maybe less clear. The way that they position the Pampa High Originales, Palladium Boots classic compass style is rebuilt a modern sole design with our pair drop technology to ensure a soft cushion step, this unisex boot pays homage to the original with the unwashed canvas and the same color from its feet. It feels like the exact same outsole. Now for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna give you some really quick numbers to try to put some data to this because I honestly don't know what the difference is between these. So let's start with the hardness of the outsole first. So for the durometer of the Legions, 72, or the originals, 67, but still fairly close. And then the highs, seven. They check the side wall. 77, 77, 75. Seem like they're the same compounds. I don't think there's a difference between the outsoles. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna say the outsoles are the same. They might be slightly different, but not, not from feel and not from the durometer test. And then when we look at the insoles, the, the legions have this a kind of recycled looking insole. Uh, the originals have more like a closed cell foam. I think this is the better, the best insole out of the three. And then the highs just have a really cheap open cell foam. So the originals, the better insole. What about the thickness of the canvas? So counting both layers. So the, the legions have 1.5 millimeter thickness. Originals have 1.4. And the highs at 1.2. Okay, so there's a difference there. Slight, just for the from heaviest canvas to lightest, you have you have the legions, the originals, and then the highs. Because you can kind of tell a difference too. They they're a little bit more floppy. But I honestly thought there's gonna be a lot more differences between these. The the lasting board's slightly different. The legions don't have a layer underneath, and I can feel the voids in the like the column structured outsole and then the other two have what seems to be a thin layer of foam underneath of it but i could still feel i think i can still feel the columns underneath of that but i don't really know yeah I, I think the only difference between these in the midsole is the legions don't have any form of foam between the lasting material and the outsole and the other two have at least some foam in between other than that, I don't really see any differences. Are, are the insoles the same shape? Mostly. You know, I think within a, enough of a difference that I would consider the exact same shape. 
actually maybe maybe the legions are a little bit different shape it seems like the legions are a little bit more rounded off of the toe you see this tan kind of popping through rather than the other two are a lot more square jawed that could easily just be a difference in how they were cut because it's only a couple millimeters difference i thought for sure there'd be a huge difference between these but there is not um but you know they're they're all under 100 bucks they're all like within the same price range i'm not sure why they, they have so many different names for the exact same boot where they're they basically are the same boot several days later so when i unboxed all these i had no idea what the difference was and so over the weekend i took them home wore them on a couple hikes uh, just had them at the apartment so i could look through every single detail and i identified some details that do actually make these different so the way I kind of have this in my head is the highs, the, these are just kind of your baseline and then all the differences are based off of that. So uh, the high, there really is no differences because it is that baseline. Compared to the originals, uh, this is where you have that thicker, harder canvas. It is more substantial. It's a lot tougher to break in. Like I was surprised at how stiff this canvas actually is. So if you want a really hard, or if you want a really easy break in and you just want like a basic palladium boot, you might want to go with the highs. And it also has the best insole out of the group. Then you compare that to the legions. Originally when I was doing this video, I didn't like the legions as much, but then I noticed some, some differences that actually matter. First one being that it's a thicker outsole. So it's not a whole lot thicker, but it's, it definitely is thicker. You get a little bit more uh, substance out of your outsole, maybe quarter of an inch, a little less than quarter of an inch. Uh, you also have a gusseted tongue, so that's going to help prevent all that dirt and grime from getting to the inside of your boot. For all the other boots, they're just sewn right here at the base and there's no gusset all the way up. So that makes a difference if you're actually going to use these for anything other than just fashionable wear. And then you also do have this reinforcement strap. At first, you know, I, I didn't really think much of it, but after wearing these and feeling how loose this canvas actually is, it does seemingly give you a little bit more stability when you really crank those laces down if you're trying to get a tight fit. Um, I don't know how much the difference is actually going to make, but it, it is something that I think will give you a little bit more durability and strength across your instep there. Some more differences than I thought there was, but they're still not the biggest differences between the three. Um, and they're all around the same price, so which would I buy for which purpose? If you just want a look of palladiums, you don't want to deal with any of the mess or any of the hassle of breaking them in, and you just want a canvas looking like military boot, just go with the highs. They're a simple way to get into it. They still have that foam midsole. If you want the more traditional, you want that hard, heavy duty canvas, spend 10 bucks extra, get a little bit harder wearing, a little heavier duty version of the highs. That's really all that the originals are. But this is more of a hiking boot than the other two. So if you're gonna use these for anything other than style, if you wanna actually get some utility out of these, I would go with the Allegiance. They're, they're a better boot. They're different enough that for the extra 10 or 20 bucks that they cost, I would get these if I'm gonna use them for like outdoor for anything. I think that's enough information to help, help you guys make a decision because I had no idea what the differences were before I bought all three of these. I thought they're gonna have different outsoles. I thought they're gonna be a lot more different, but they're pretty similar. And if you notice that the audio is absolute uh, whack, it's because when I re initially re initially recorded it, my mic acted up funny and it was really garbly and nasty. And so the crazy thing is we threw one of those AI filters over top of it and it brought it back to like somewhat listenable quality. And we, I was just gonna re-record it, but I thought it was such an interesting uh, look into what's coming down the road with AI and technology being able to enhance uh, content and save content and potentially make content for people down the road. I wanted to leave it in. So here's a quick example of before what the audio sounded like and then what it sounded like after. I thought this would be a lot more clear once I got these all unboxed, but it is maybe less clear. Thank you guys for your support and watching these videos. Let me know what other boots and shoes you want us to do for this, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want me to add, what was uh, useless information because I like answering these questions for myself personally and so i might as well record them for you guys if you find value in them so support this as much as you can and uh thank you guys for everything see ya Cheerio.